In this video, we are going to show you how to use CCS Load software with the ICD-U64 to program hex files to one or more PIC development boards. At this point, we'll need to install the drivers in CCS Load software from the CD-ROM provided with the ICD-U64. Simply insert the disk into your computer and run the install wizard. Click Yes to associate a hex file with this utility. This will invoke the utility when you double click on the file in Explorer or right click and do an open. After CCS load is installed, we will install the drivers. When prompted to plug in the device programmer, we will connect the ICD-U64 to our workstation. Start by connecting the included USB cable to the computer, then to the ICD-U64. Now we'll take the included ICD to prototype board cable with RJ11 connectors and connect one end to the ICD-U64 and the other end to the prototype board we want to program. In the install wizard, click Next and then Finish. You can also download the drivers in CCS Load software from the downloads page on ccsinfo.com. With CCS Load, our aim was to develop an application for programming a chip that was very intuitive and easy to use. At this point, we'd like to show you some of these abilities and functions within CCS Load. One of the first things you'll notice within CCS Load is the toolbar. Device shows information about the hex file and target chip. You can also program and read the chip from here. File lets you review and edit hex file contents. Diagnostics is used to diagnose hardware and hookup problems. Production gives you a one-click programming interface. User shows you the user customizable interface. Along the bottom of the application window in the icon tray, we can perform various tasks such as write to chip, read from chip, erasing the target chip, and multiple verification tasks. We can also run target program and perform a checksum. Let's locate the hex file for our project. To do this, we'll want to press the folder on the file bar. This will bring up an explorer window to locate your file. You'll notice that selecting the hex file fills in the target dropdown for you, as well as displaying info on the hex file itself. This only happens with hex files generated from the CCSC compiler. For other hex files, you need to select the chip. In the File Info window on the left, we can see information such as the file type and program size. In the Target Chip window, we can see diagnostic info for the target chip. You can also click Test to test the connection to the chip. Now we are ready to write our hex file to the first board. Let's select the Write to Chip option. We'll wait a few moments. At this point, a green indicator box will appear if we succeeded in programming the chip or an orange indicator box if programming failed. If we were unsuccessful in our program, we could have clicked on the orange box for more information on the issue. Here it shows that the target VDD is at zero because the board is not connected to a power supply. Another feature of CCS Load is the ability to program multiple boards using the same hex file with relative ease. To accomplish this, select the Automatic Mode option on the right side. CCS Load will then prompt you to connect a board if one is not already connected and program the hex file to that board. To program additional boards, wait for CCS Load to show a graphic to disconnect the current chip and connect the next one. After this appears, connect the ICD to prototype board cable with RJ11 connectors to the next board. CCS Load will begin programming the newly connected board and we can then repeat this process for as many boards as needed. We'd like to take a moment to point out another feature within CCS Load. If you wanted to know the connection pinout, open the help menu by clicking the blue question mark icon and select connection to chip. As you can see here, the pin information for the ICD to prototype board cable is found on the connection to chip page. 
This information can come in handy if you ever wanted to program a chip on a breadboard or another circuit board and needed the connection pinout. We invite you to visit ccsinfo.com for more information on CCS Load, ICD-U64, or our other easy-to-use programmer and debugger products, and our CCS compiler solutions for the complete range of Microchip PIC MCU families. Thank you.